Ready for a hot topic? Is Barack Obama the Antichrist? Well, what does the Bible say about Antichrist? Well, in the book of Revelation, we read these words, And I saw a beast rising out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its heads. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. Learn a few quick things about Antichrist. Lesson number one, the word Antichrist is not found in the book of Revelation. You cannot find it. Uh, most people try to do the calculations on trying to find Antichrist by the passage that says that the number of the beast is 666. This is a passage that has a description of the beast. So lesson number two, the beast in Revelation is not a person. The beast in Revelation is a power or an entity. Uh, it, it's a combination of four pictures. Uh, it's a combination of uh, the beasts that we see in Re uh, Daniel chapter 7. These four beasts together are made into a composite in Revelation 13 and they comprise this particular beast. The idea is that those four beasts were four empires or four nations. Now they're rolled into one. The picture in Revelation 13 is most likely a picture of anti-Christian governmental powers. It's not the picture of a person. It's a, picture of, it's a picture of a larger entity. Now what about Antichrist? The word Antichrist is only found five times in the Bible, all of them in 1 John. Uh, John writes this, children, it's the last hour. Remember, that was the first century, and he said it's the last hour. And as you've heard, Antichrist is coming. So now, many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know it's the last hour. This many Antichrists gives uh, credence to the idea that I'm saying that there are many anti-Christian powers and spirits in the world. Well, who is an Antichrist? Scripture number two. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is the Antichrist. Uh, he who denies the Father and the Son. Antichrist is anyone like a Roman emperor who claims to be God or a false Jewish king that sits on the throne. Uh, sat up like the Herod, the Herod powers in the uh, early uh, Christian church. The Herods that sat on the throne in Jerusalem, they were all Antichrists. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. 1 John 4, 3. This is the spirit of Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is already in the world. And then finally, one more. For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Such a one is a deceiver and is Antichrist. Well, what about the question? Is Barack Obama the Antichrist? Let me just simply say, he sits and the throne of power as President of the United States, the United States could become an anti-Christian government. In fact, I actually think it already is because certainly uh, the America does not confess that Jesus is Lord. So the power itself is set against Christ. Barack Obama, eh, not so much. He's probably just another lightweight um, we don't know how Barack Obama will turn out, but I can tell you this, is he the Antichrist? I don't think so, any more than you are or I am. And we'll talk more on this topic in, uh, in videos that we have coming out. So stay with us. Barack Obama, the Antichrist, you gotta do better than that.